Alan M. Dershowitz, Letters to a Young Lawyer Embark on a journey through Letters to a Young Lawyer, in which author and Harvard Law professor Alan M. Dershowitz empowers future legal practitioners by imparting his insights and wisdom. This summary will guide you through vital themes, such as recognizing the imperfect nature of the legal profession, embracing the passion of your times, the importance of having adversaries, and maintaining a balance between work, family, and moral principles. Delve deeper to understand the challenges lawyers face as they maneuver through a system filled with corruption and ethical dilemmas, and discover how to make a remarkable difference in your field. The Hazards of Advice Giving in Law Alan Dershowitz, a well-known author and Harvard Law professor, warns against blindly following legal heroes and taking one-size-fits-all advice. In his experience, success in law often requires sacrificing ethical principles. Judges and legal figures are also not infallible and can be politically motivated. Dershowitz advises aspiring lawyers to scrutinize their sources and emulate the best qualities while recognizing flaws. Alan Dershowitz cautions young lawyers on the dangers of advice giving and hero worship within the legal profession. He advises against blindly following the examples set by iconic legal figures such as Clarence Darrow, Oliver Wendell Holmes, and Thurgood Marshall, among others. While initially modeling himself on these figures, he realized that no one in power, including judges, is infallible. Even Supreme Court judges can be driven by personal biases, as demonstrated by their controversial ruling in the 2000 presidential election. Dershowitz stresses the importance of scrutinizing sources and questioning the applicability of one-size-fits-all advice. Unless advice is tailored to the individual, it is unlikely to be useful. Experience, in itself, is not sufficient. Some people spend decades making the same mistakes without learning from them. Aspiring lawyers must take care to evaluate the credibility of their sources and avoid being swayed by flattery or celebrity status. According to Dershowitz, success in law often requires sacrificing ethical principles. He recognizes that the profession is imperfect and that legal figures may have flaws or ethical shortcomings. However, he urges aspiring lawyers to emulate the best qualities of legal figures while recognizing their flaws. Rather than blindly following the heroes of legal lore, aspiring lawyers must develop a critical eye and identify the characteristics that are worth emulating. In conclusion, Dershowitz offers a sobering perspective on the legal profession. While he acknowledges that the practice of law can be fascinating, lawyers must be vigilant against the dangers of hero worship, one-size-fits-all advice, and ethical compromise. To succeed in the profession, lawyers must critically analyze their sources and emulate the best qualities of legal figures while recognizing their flaws. The Power of Passion Embrace the passion of your time while maintaining professionalism. Times are defined by the passions that drive them, and it's important to not become detached from them. Instead, allow your passion to guide you while staying grounded in professionalism. Avoid trying to escape the times you live in and embrace what makes them unique. Let the passion of your time move you and shape your work. Cultivate the right enemies. In their book, the authors argue that having enemies can help keep you focused and on track. Good lawyers, for example, are likely to have enemies. However, it's important to ensure that the people who hate you are the right ones. Knowing who you want to love or hate you is crucial, as is working at being hated by the right people. Being effective against those you want to be hated by will naturally result in them disliking you. Therefore, Cultivating the right enemies can be beneficial in achieving your goals. Love the good that law can provide. The law is a tool, not a mistress, and the key is to make it earn respect. People, processes, and precedents sometimes make the law unjust. It's important to love the good that the well-wielded law provides, justice and liberty. Don't be a slave to what you're best at, instead, opt for something you're good at. Choosing a direction. Live a life without regrets. Balance work and family. Make deliberate choices and follow your path. In Choosing a Direction, 
The author warns against regrets on one's deathbed and emphasizes the importance of finding a balance between work and family life. It is crucial to treat both aspects of life with care and to make deliberate choices, rather than drifting aimlessly. The key message is to take control of your life by choosing a direction and following it without neglecting any important areas. This book advocates for a balanced and satisfying life, where every aspect of it is given the necessary attention it deserves. Tailored Advice In the book, it is highlighted that generic advice doesn't fit everyone's needs. One's preferences, career goals, and personality traits play a significant role in deciding where they belong professionally. The only valuable advice is personalized advice that caters to the individual's unique situation and aspirations. The Trap of Money Don't let money limit your freedom and happiness. The wealthiest often sacrifice what they truly want for financial gain. For instance, giving up a high-paying job for a fulfilling one. Don't fall into that trap. Don't lose what you need. The importance of not giving up what you need to pursue what you have in abundance is highlighted in this book. As seen in the example of President Clinton, who had only a few years to be a president but plenty of women, it's crucial to be mindful of our priorities and not lose sight of what we need. We should strive to strike a balance between what we have in abundance and what we need to attain our goals. The Duties of a Lawyer as a lawyer, your job is to defend your client and act as their mouthpiece, even if they are guilty. The law is above ideology, and truth is rarely entirely on one side. Therefore, it is crucial to pick your enemies as carefully as you pick your friends. Sometimes, you may defend bad guys to ensure that everyone gets the best possible defense. While this may lead to some guilty individuals getting off, it is worth it to prevent innocent people from being punished unrightfully due to inadequate representation. Many people on death row are poor, and they receive bad representation. That is why half of a lawyer's work is pro bono. It is essential to defend constitutional rights and free speech without letting money or political correctness corrupt you. Whenever you take on a case, you must be zealous, tenacious, and audacious. The Truth About Justice Justice is often not a top priority for lawyers, as winning takes precedence. However, justice is produced by the overall system and effort put forth by everyone involved, including judges who want to further their careers, fame, and reputation. The Law, Corruption, and Ethics The legal system has both benign and malign corruption, which can compromise the rights of defendants. Judges who want to advance their careers are likely to display bias against defendants. Dishonest lawyers are numerous, and authorities discipline thousands of them each year for misconduct. Success can come from dishonesty and corruption, but honest and ethical lawyers may suffer. Betrayal by clients is a common hazard that can lead to jail time. Finally, lawyers should avoid friendship with clients that could engender corrupt behavior. Essentials for Becoming a Trial Lawyer The path to becoming a successful trial lawyer is not taught in law school. While the theory of law is essential, there is no substitute for practical experience. In this book, readers can learn how to build a case and question witnesses. The author stresses the importance of real skill as opposed to flashy looks. Ethical behavior is paramount, and lawyers must be prepared to employ tactics that may make them uncomfortable. One piece of practical advice is to never let a client testify in a criminal case. The jury may focus on the client's credibility instead of the evidence presented. Surrendering can sometimes be the best course of action if victory would harm the client. Although even the best lawyers will lose cases, victory is not the only measure of a good lawyer. Instead, lawyers must live up to their own values and principles. With this book as a guide, readers can gain the essential skills, ethical behavior, and mindset necessary to become successful trial lawyers. As we conclude this summary, we appreciate the invaluable advice and experiences shared by Alan M. Dershowitz in Letters to a Young Lawyer. The key takeaways underscore the need to be cautious about choosing role models, maintaining professional integrity despite the corrupt legal system, and embracing the passion of your time. 
a successful legal career demands a balanced life, don't neglect work, family, or your ethical compass. Furthermore, focus on honing your skills and ensuring that you represent clients zealously, tenaciously, and audaciously. Finally, remember that achieving justice depends on everyone's commitment to winning, and despite the imperfections, strive to make a difference in the world through your career.